Hi friends. I come to you from a rainy morning. But it's an exciting day because a very full cup of tea in a couple of boxes. Sorry for slurping, it's pretty hot. Well, I say couple boxes, it's it's a box, but the contents of also a pouch. So let's dig in. Oh yeah, see, said pouch. Um, birthday stuff. <laughs> So I wanted to not even open these until today, but I thought if the contents were very wrong, I should I should speak up sooner rather than later. So I counted the items to make sure the number of things was right. Um, I didn't know what to get myself this year. And then I thought of something, and then one thing led to another. Also, my nails are not painted. That's just hair dye. Okay. First up, one of these I dedicate to the Countess. Because she and I share feelings about, and I'll include Amanda in that, feelings about how things are named. So I got two diamine inks and a pen. Look at this box. It's got like shiny sparklies on it. I got a Caveco. Caveco, I think would probably be right. And I realized I did not get a converter for it. I wanted to place another order. This is the new one. The, um, I don't know, what's it called? Toyama Teal? Does it say anywhere? Look, y'all, it's this one. That's this color. That's new. I thought it was going to be sparklier. Oh, I didn't turn on my light. Some lights made it look sparkly. Ooh, I see it. I see it. It's like hidden sparkles. I don't know if you'll be able to see it. Um, so this will be my second slash third. Because one I was thinking of getting rid of. Yeah, it's teal. And it's a double broad. BB. Which I'm really excited. Um... Also, somebody said that this is more like a broad in other pins, so that's nice. Oh, yeah, I can see that sparkly now. I would wear this as nail polish. I would look nice. And then I got inks. So I got Diamine Monbado's hat. This was done in collaboration with some UK pin group. And... Funny, this doesn't have the sticker. Aurora Borealis. This was done in um, collaboration with the Fountain Pins subreddit. So, generally speaking, I have liked the colors of the Fountain Pins subreddit inks, but they're all fairly poorly named. Um... Because, y'all, writer's blood is not the color of blood. Earl Grey? You want to talk about Earl Grey? I love that ink. It's beautiful. It's a lovely gray. A lovely gray. Not the color of Earl Grey. There is somebody who makes a ink that's like that color, which I don't like. I don't like that color very much. There's a part of me that thinks I should get it anyway. You know, complicated. So, 
they're not bad at choosing colors. They're horrible at choosing names. Or alternately, what happens, they picked the color name first, and then they were like, okay, which of these inks? And then they pick inks that just do not even at all represent those colors. This is happening now. The latest colors, like one of them was called Celadon Cat, and none of the choices were Celadon. None of them. Celadon's a real color. It's not like just a made up word. Anyway, I'm gonna calm down. It's early for me to be so worked up. But that's allowed if I want to be, you know, I can, I'm allowed to get excited. What's swatchy? So I probably have an ink that looks like a Aurora Borealis, but I kind of got this out of a sort of completionism because I have the other two. But also, diamine inks are cheap as chips, so why not? Ooh, that sounds good, right? Go run out of space. Made it. Does that get you guys nervous for me? I gotta get it. I gotta get an old, just some pieces of fabric and not something with loops on it. Um, off the bat, this is giving me Taylor California, maybe vibes, possibly Edelstein. Aquamarine. I brought my stuff to check. Because of course I did. But I am not sad to own this ink because this is my happy place as far as color goes. thinking of some more videos to film like how I use my inks sort of how I track ink usage and that kind of thing I want to do an ink collection I'm not liking how I'm using this book so of course Change it, Maria. Mm-hmm. I have to think of how. Look, Hobonichi knows it's a special day. They have a holiday marker here. Thanks, Hobo. Sorry for that noise. It's obnoxious. It's solstice right now in some places. Or the 21st is solstice in some places, but more accurate way. So, not actually right now because it was yesterday for them, but. <laughs> Apparently, Mombato was some kind of maybe fancy dressing MP. known for a purple hat. I looked it up once. It felt like a deep pull.
No room for hat. Made room for hat. I want this to smell like vanilla. No particular reason. I woke up early today because uh, every other week I have an early meeting on Tuesdays. <laughs> Didn't turn off my alarm for this week. Then I was like, oh, I'm going to lay down. And I look over at the clock and I'm like, holy cow, I laid down for way longer. And then it was like, no, actually for less time than I realized. <laughs> mm. This is a lo lovely purple. I suspect this was an attempt at replicating another ink that we all know and wish would make a return and maybe low-key hate a pin company for not re-releasing. Not to get specific. Okay. Sip of tea. Let me go grab my converter. I'm also going to take a look at this through a loop just to make sure the nib doesn't look horrible. Hmm. Well, I'm seeing something not great. Let's see if we can get you to see it. Maybe not. The tines don't touch at the tip. Which is not a fantastic thing to see. But that can be squeezed back together. And it doesn't look, surprisingly to me, like it has a baby bottom. Peaching. <laughs> that noise is so delightful, isn't it? Squeak, squeak, squeak. I'm gonna put some silicone grease on there. But I actually thought that this ink wouldn't be a bad match for this pen. Um. This is a good, to me, this is a very Sharksy's color, Sharks color. You know what I didn't do? Shame on me. Oh, neat. In the, um, if you lay down this, um, Aurora Borealis, you do get some haloing around it. That makes it slightly more like Aurora Borealis, I guess. Because let's be real, beautiful ink. That looks nothing like its namesake. I just put too much ink down. That's okay. Spread it out. Too much ink, Maria. You're fine. gorgeous interesting so heavily on here does have the slightest bit of sheen but you know nothing like it's it's would be um so Make some comparisons. Emerald of Shavor, bluer. It 
Edelstein Aquamarine. Close, but this is more of a tone. It's got gray in it. Sailor California, blue or darker, that's probably it. Mm. And compared to a green that I have, oh, there's one I could compare it to that I think I have a swatch of just to be angry about. Here it is next to Color vs. Spirit, so you can see it next to, this is a, to me this is an emerald green. Maybe slightly warm for emerald. And then, oh gosh, my sewing machine case was just trying to eat these. Then let's get to the, let's get to our angry making swatch. California teal, which is a green ink, not teal. This is teal. This comes across as far more blue on the camera as all teals or won't to. But it's lovely. So if we look at a, a pen that, a, an ink that matches this pen, Sailor California, for sure. One of the best inks. I should buy another bottle. <laughs> I still have plenty. Okay, now, wait, there's a box. There is a box. I'm slowly amassing a collection of everything related to California. So I couldn't remember if I got, there's this ink called Napa that I kind of want because it's called Napa. The color looks pretty, but I never use inks that color. What am I thinking? So the next one I ordered from Endless Pens, and while I was there, I got a bottle of ink that's exclusive to them. Because, of course, included these cards, which is nice, I guess. I'll keep those for some other purpose. This is called Mysterium. I'm not familiar with that element. And I watch periodic videos, so you'd think I'd know them all by now. It said shake well. I don't know what letter I was writing there. An O. Let's not let's not beat ourselves up over slightly imperfect letter. It's okay, Maria. Oh no. Ran out of space and ink. It's okay with me. Um, this is really close to feathering on here. It, it looks like it's really lubricated. I think I'm happy to have this. It it feels like blackberry juice. So it's like purple meets magenta, maybe. That might be how I would describe that. Oops, nope, we need, we need it in there. Yeah, I just want to every week, oh, look at it. It wants to be that.
Hmm. Yeah, I don't know. Uh, I feel like this is the kind of ink where Manda might be upset if you called it purple. But I'm not sure. too purple to be like wine it's too something to be wine it's really pretty what color is it pretty ah oh, i see that complicated thing um and then also i got another pen so this kind of happened because of a project i was doing at work reading up on famous Maria's and I have a favorite Maria from history partly because I have a favorite song about Maria do y'all know what that song is how do you solve a problem like Maria and my favorite Maria therefore has been Maria von Trapp and I love the musical, Sound of Music. My parents did the right thing by just introducing it to me at a young age. So there is a pen called Edelweiss. It's from the Talisman collection. And I so love that song and the moment when he's singing it in the big auditorium near the end and his voice catches. Because he's just so sad to leave his homeland. Ugh. So I thought, why not get the pen? <laughs> oh. Small and white. Oh my god. Sorry, I'm going to get all choked up thinking about the sound of music. This pen is so pretty. Ugh. So I was very intentional with my choice because I promised I would do a review of the Bennu I have, and I will. This is slightly irritating to me. But one of the things I don't like about Bennu's is they have these beautiful, over-the-top acrylics, and then the most boring, black, jarring cap bands and sections and at least with this pen it's not jarring because like it's dark in the middle oh this is gorgeous I don't even remember what nib size I got this in y'all because yeah okay I got a broad I, you all may be like what how does she not know she always gets broad but my other Bennu is a um medium and so maybe I thought I would continue but actually it makes sense that I'd be like well I got a, a medium I should get a broad um I'm actually I kind of want to get another um one of the other brands I like in a medium I have one and it's nice these the tines don't exactly touch either Bless my homeland forever. Okay, I gotta stop or I'm gonna end up singing. And nobody wants that. <sighs> I am so. Uh, I'm gonna have this pen and just think of Sound of Music forever. I suppose there are sillier reasons to feel connected to a pen. Connected to a pin by way of a musical, but really the connection is Maria. <laughs> and also Julie Andrews. So I know what we're thinking. I should ink these up. But I have too many pins inked and we're not that far from April. Can I wait? I waited to open these. I got these boxes last week and I didn't open them. This is still drying. I want to look at this set of inks that I got. They look really nice together. They're all jewel tones. I'm going to compare this to pen, to colors I have. I think this is actually 
unique. I was worried it would actually just be like, Maria, you keep rebuying Yamabuto. So here's Gummy Berry. Gummy Berry is purpler. Uh, Kiwi Ink Gold Sheen Violet. Uh, sheen's more strongly, but it's not dissimilar. Did I pass Yamabuto? It must have been at the front, right? Yeah, Yamabuto is far, far pinker. Hopefully those were all in this shot for you, you know. Um, no, I don't think I'm going to ink them right now. Let's dip it in water and see how it feels. Not great. Not horrible. I wouldn't expect it to be feel fantastic. What what color would you put in this? I think I'm not gonna ink it and let y'all. I mean, this Aurora Borealis could go in either pen. Oops, I just dipped this like all the way up to the section. Hmm. Hmm. No. So there's my little happy birthday to me. I am either going to ink these like today and use them or I'm going to wait for 30 inks. If I wait for 30 inks, the, um, the thing that goes in them will be random maybe. I could start 30 inks though with these inks. Gosh, I love this. Look at most people will recognize the word Edelweiss from the famous 1965 musical romance Sound of Music. Covering the concept of romance, bravery, and love to the motherland, the show's writers, Rodgers and Hammerstein, couldn't have chosen a more fitting symbol than the Edelweiss flower as the movie's main theme tune. This is true love and bravery. You know what? That's a great pen for me to have a talisman for. Right? I don't know if that comes up often for me. Um, let me know what you would do. Would you be inking these? Right? Would you have already inked these? What do you think I should ink them with? Should I only use one of these inks? Can I just stare at this pen all day and think of the sound of music while I listen to the sound of rain or alternately the sound of silence? Um, hey, can we just comment how awesome the Kaweco collection is the right, right way around if I lay the pen this way, whereas Bennu is backwards? It's probably right-handed conspiracy. Um, okay, I'm, I'm dithering now. Let me know what you think. Let me know what you would do. Because I'm not going to ink them right this second. So if you comment early enough, you may actually inspire my decision. Um... Thank you so much. I hope whenever you're seeing this, you're having a wonderful day. And um, if you're seeing this today, thanks for sharing my birthday with me. Bye.